Thanks to Curology for sponsoring today's video. If you watch the Super Bowl, you may have noticed electric vehicles. This seems to confirm what I and many others have been saying for a while, which is that 2021 is truly the year of the EV or Bitcoin, one or the other. <laughs> now, it's safe to say Tesla is currently the leader in the EV space. I've owned a Tesla for almost three years, and it's been one of the best purchases of my life. But even though Teslas are superior in many ways, they aren't the only option when it comes to choosing a good electric vehicle. And the more EVs that come out, the more competition there is, the better it is for us, the consumers. Now, there are some exciting new EVs coming to the market this year. So let's go over my top 10 electric vehicles that I'm looking forward to the most in 2021. Now, this list is sorted by price from the most affordable to the most expensive. Kicking off this list is the Chevy Bolt, which is a small hatchback that starts around $32,000 and should hit the market in mid-2021. Now, the Bolt has been around for a while and has always been fairly mediocre in my eyes when compared to something like a Tesla Model 3 because up until now, they've been around the same price range. I was never a big fan of the looks and performance of the Bolt, but the new Bolt has been redesigned and also comes in a new variant called the Bolt EUV, which stands for Electric Utility Vehicle and is considered to be a crossover SUV and has more space than the regular Bolt, as well as a slightly different exterior style. Now, the thing that excites me the most about the new Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV are the low prices. The new Bolt is actually $5,500 cheaper than the previous year's model, and the new Bolt EUV starts around $34,000. And if the new Green Act bill passes, it could give GM a $7,000 tax credit for 400,000 more electric vehicles, which could potentially make the Bolt and Bolt EUV start around $25,000 and $27,000 respectively. That would be an insane deal. The Chevy Bolt models are the most affordable EVs that have at least 250 miles of range, with the Bolt EV claiming to get up to 259 miles of range on a full charge. The Bolt EUV Launch Edition will also be GM's first vehicle to have their Super Cruise driver assistance package. Now, both Bolt models are capable of DC fast charging of around 100 miles of range in just 30 minutes. The only downside is there is no all-wheel drive option on either of the Bolt models, only a single front motor. But if you're looking for a super affordable electric vehicle with a fresh new design and at least 250 miles of range, the Bolt is a great choice. Now, next up is probably the EV I'm looking forward to the most that is under $50,000 and not a Tesla. It's the Nissan Aria, which is a compact crossover SUV that starts around $40,000 and should hit the market in the second half of 2021. Now, Tesla gets a lot of credit for bringing electric vehicles to the mainstream, but Nissan actually had the best-selling electric vehicle for a while with the Leaf. So they are one of the OGs in the EV space, and they know how to make a great electric vehicle with purpose. And when I first saw the Aria, I was initially skeptical about the design. It kind of reminded me of a giant Duracell battery on wheels. But the more I saw it, the more I became a fan of the sleek and sporty style. It comes in two battery size options, either standard range or long range, and either can be configured as front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And the full charge driving range is estimated to be between 200 and 300 miles based on the configuration, with the standard range all wheel drive having the least amount of range and the long range front wheel drive having the most amount of range. The styling and features are the things that excite me the most about the Aria. It has an optional driver assistance system called Pro Pilot Assist, which looks promising, and the interior tech looks amazing, featuring dual 12.3 inch displays that serve as both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. It also comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and in-dash navigation. The quick performance should be a good competitor to the Tesla Model Y, with the Aria expected to go 0-60 to 60 in less than 5 seconds. Also, Nissan should still have the $7,500 federal tax credit, even if the new Green Act bill doesn't get passed, which could bring the price down to around $30,000 for some customers. Next is the VW ID4, which is a crossover SUV that starts around $40,000 and will be available for purchase in the first half of 2021. Now, where the Nissan Aria excelled in sporty design with performance in mind, the VW ID4 feels like it's geared more toward being the quintessential family vehicle, given the slower 0 to 60 acceleration speed of only 8.5 seconds on their rear wheel drive model. Now, VW says the ID4 will be able to travel up to 250 miles on a full charge. And comes in a few different options, the Pro, First Edition, and Pro S. At first, all ID4 models will offer only rear-wheel drive, but the all-wheel drive models will join the lineup later this year, as well as a less expensive base model coming in 2022. 
The ID4 is capable of DC fast charging, and in the US, it will come with three years of free fast charging with Electrify America, which is a nice perk. And the most exciting part about the VW ID4 is the quality you could expect for the relatively affordable price. If you're eligible for the current $7,500 tax credit, this can bring the price down to around $33,000, which is awesome given the reputation that VW has built with their cars in the past. It's also capable of towing 2,700 pounds, and the interior has a contemporary design with some high-tech features and ample cargo space. Cloth seats are standard, but the optional statement package adds faux leather upholstery, along with 12-way power adjustable front seats and massage and memory functionality. Now, the ID4 comes standard with a 10-inch infotainment touchscreen that can be upgraded to a larger 12-inch display. Navigation is standard with both displays, and it's expected to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard options as well. All ID4 models also come with a 5.3 inch digital gauge display and voice recognition capability. Now this next EV is probably the one with a chance of the most mainstream success based on what I've seen so far. The Ford Mustang Mach-E is an electric crossover SUV that starts around $43,000 and is ready to order right now full charge depending on the configuration, which in my opinion is way too many to choose from. Now you may be wondering what makes this a Mustang because literally nothing can be tied back to the normal gasoline Mustang vehicle that we all know. Well, it seems to be that the main reason the name includes Mustang is for brand recognition. Ford wanted to have a recognizable name for the mainstream in order to have a desirable vehicle that can compete with Tesla. But it's not just the name that competes with Tesla. The Mustang Mach-E packs a punch, especially on the GT Performance Edition that goes zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, which matches the Performance Model Y. But with that option, you're giving up about 70 miles of range. Next up is an EV that literally just got announced this week. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 is a crossover SUV. As of now, it's estimated to start around $45,000 and is inspired by Hyundai's 45 concept. It's based on Hyundai and Kia's new electric global modular platform, which uses an 800 volt architecture that provides impressive charging speeds. The Ioniq 5 is estimated to travel up to 300 miles on a full charge, and it marks the debut of Hyundai's new all-electric Ioniq sub-brand, which they say will bring 23 electric vehicles by 2025. The Ioniq 5 should come standard with all-wheel drive and will be available with two battery options, 58 kilowatt hour and 73 kilowatt hour. The Ioniq 5 will also feature fast charging capability, which is said to allow its battery to recharge to 80% in as little as 18 minutes and can regain about 60 miles of range in just five minutes. Now, based on an overhead shot released by Hyundai, the Ioniq 5's interior will take advantage of its all-electric packaging, which should provide a flat floor for maximum space. It also looks like the giant display that spans nearly the entire dashboard could be part of the final version. Now, for infotainment and connectivity features, it should have voice recognition technology and be compatible with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, this is a very intriguing vehicle for fans of a futuristic design at a reasonable price. It looks sleek and very high-tech and could cost under $40,000 for some customers with the current federal EV tax credit. The next electric vehicle on this list is, oh, what are you doing back there? Your skin's really soft. Were you back there the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> It's off, right? Because I've been using a custom skincare routine from today's sponsor, Curology. As a YouTuber, I have to make sure my face is clear and blemish free for the camera, and I've always struggled with sensitive skin. Even after my awkward teenage acne years, it's been hard to find the right products that don't irritate my face because it's a weird mix of oily and dryness, which is tough to subdue. I've never really had a true daily skincare routine until Curology. It was simple to sign up. I just took a quick online quiz, sent in three selfies, then a dermatology provider at Curology looked at my information and prescribed a custom formula just for me. I received my one month trial for just the cost of shipping and handling and started using my custom formula every night before bed. I've definitely seen improvement in the way my face looks and feels. A Curology has been gentle on my skin, has made my dry and oily skin more consistent, and as you can tell, my wife can tell a big difference in how much softer my face feels, so she's also a big fan. Now to get started or learn more about Curology, click the link in the description below. Thanks again to Curology for supporting my channel. Next is the EV that we know the least about right now, but still made the list because of the anticipation. The Kia CV, also called the EV5, is the last crossover SUV on this list, which yes, I do apologize, this list has been crossover heavy so far. But the Kia CV looks amazing and is estimated to start around $45,000. Kia's president recently announced some of the CV's highlights, saying a full charge will allow a range of more than 500 kilometers or 311 miles. 
Now, similar to the Ionic 5, it will also have the 800 volt architecture, which enables ultra fast charging. It claims to regain 60 miles of range in about four minutes. Some spy photos of the Kia CV's interior show two floating displays, one being the instrument cluster and the other is the center infotainment display. Now, the screens are positioned on a panel to give the impression of a single seamless screen wrapping around the cockpit as a single curved panel. However, the most exciting part may be the performance. The Kia CV GT model is estimated to go zero to 60 in just three seconds, which is quicker than the Performance Model Y and the Porsche Taycan Turbo, which costs a measly $150,000. Now, the Kia CV will also have a charging advantage over all of our previously mentioned similar size crossovers on this list, like the ID4 and the Aria, since they only support 400 volt charging and the peak power of their DC charger is 125 kilowatts and 130 kilowatts, respectively. Now, with the Kia CV's 800 volt charging system, it would be possible to charge at 350 kilowatts. Charging the battery from zero to 80% could only take 18 minutes. The Kia CV will certainly be a force in the EV market in 2021. Now, you know I couldn't leave out this next electric vehicle, even though it may not make it until early 2022. The Tesla Cybertruck starts around $40,000 for the single motor rear wheel drive variant, but that's not going into production until late 2022. So that's why it's here at this spot, because the dual motor and tri-motor versions will be produced first in late 2021 and starting around $50,000 and $70,000 respectively. The Cybertruck is, of course, a futuristic cyberpunk inspired truck that has a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton made of ultra hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel. I was lucky enough to attend the unveiling event in 2019 and got to ride in it. And from firsthand experience, this thing is huge inside and out. It can sit up to six people and can tow up to 14,000 pounds and has 100 cubic feet of storage and all of these storage spaces combined, including the trunk bed, which is referred to as the vault. It can travel anywhere from 250 miles to over 500 miles on a full charge, depending on the configuration. And the performance is insane with a zero to 60 speed of less than three seconds on the tri-motor all-wheel drive version. Now, just like with all Tesla vehicles, it comes standard with their advanced driver assistance system, autopilot, and it has access to the best in-class nationwide Tesla supercharger network and can charge up to 1,000 miles an hour on V3 superchargers. Now, Tesla describes it as a better utility vehicle than a truck with more performance than a sports car. And from the looks of it, that seems to be true. What else can be said about the Cybertruck? There's nothing else like it for the price to specs ratio. You can't beat it. I can't wait to see it on the roads and experience it for myself. Next up are probably the most hyped electric vehicles out of this entire list. We're talking about the Rivian R1T and Rivian R1S, which start around $67,000 and $70,000 respectively before any tax credits or rebates. Now it's funny, these are some of the most hyped vehicles, yet they're from the newest company. Rivian was only founded in 2009, and since then they've gotten a lot of attention for their upcoming pickup truck, the R1T, and their SUV, the R1S. They're backed by Amazon and Ford, and they have a very specific target audience in mind and pretty spot on branding with a focus on high end luxury yet adventurous utility. If you want an all electric pickup truck but hate the Cybertruck, then the R1T may be for you. It promises at least 300 miles of range on the large battery pack and over 400 miles on the max battery pack with crazy performance using a quad motor all wheel drive setup, delivering a zero to 60 speed of three seconds and up to 11,000 pounds of towing capacity. Now the R1S SUV only has the large battery pack option of 300 plus miles and can be configured as a five seater or seven seater, but it also comes in a quad motor setup with the same zero to 60 speed of three seconds as the R1T. I was lucky enough to see both of these vehicles in person last year at Fully Charged Live North America, and they look just as good in person as they do in photos. Unfortunately, nobody got to drive them or sit inside them, but the precision and attention to detail was obvious and the interior looked very premium and welcoming. I think Rivian will be hugely successful as long as they can keep up with the production demand and meet service needs as their customer base grows. Next is a new edition of the reigning king of all EVs. The Tesla Model S Plaid Plus starts around $140,000 and is expected to deliver in late 2021. And the Model S is what made me fall in love with Tesla years ago, but ever since the Model 3 came out, I was never a fan of the outdated Model S interior. It was the same for way too long with that vertical touchscreen layout. Well, now Tesla has refreshed the interior on the Model S and Model X, 
and it looks amazing. It has three total displays now, a 12.3 inch driver display behind the all new yoke steering wheel, a new 17 inch center touchscreen with a resolution of 2200 by 1300 and a brand new eight inch second row display for backseat passengers. Uh, don't worry though, if you don't like the new steering yoke based on a recent photo of a test model S, it looks like you can choose a normal steering wheel. However, both wheels seem to have the new touch capacitive buttons since there are no longer any stalks on the steering wheel for controls. It's all done through the steering wheel or touchscreen or even by the car guessing what you're going to do according to Elon. But the most exciting part may be the specs and performance. Model S Plaid Plus claims to have the quickest zero to 60 in quarter mile acceleration of any production car ever made with the zero to 60 coming in at less than 1.99 seconds in the quarter mile at less than nine seconds, which is absolutely bonkers. It has over 1100 horsepower with three high performance motors and carbon sleeved rotors. And the best part is it can travel an estimated 520 plus miles on a full charge, which is the longest range out of any EV on the market in 2021. Needless to say, the Model S Plaid Plus is the new EV king. Last but not least, the most expensive vehicle on this list, the Lucid Air, comes in a few different models, but the one that will deliver first in 2021 is the Dream Edition, which costs a whopping $169,000 before any tax credits or rebates. Now, obviously, this car is not in most people's budget, but they will have more affordable versions starting around $70,000 coming later. Now, the Lucid Air just screams luxury and innovation. The estimated range on a full charge goes up to 517 miles depending on the version with over 1000 horsepower on a dual motor all-wheel drive architecture. Now, before the new Model S Plaid Plus was announced, the Lucid Air claimed to be the longest range EV on the market. Led by Tesla's former VP of engineering, Lucid created the Air to be the world's most powerful and efficient luxury electric sedan. It's also the fastest charging electric vehicle right now with a 900 volt architecture and the capability to charge at rates of up to 20 miles per minute on a DC fast charger. That translates to 300 miles of range in about 20 minutes of charging. Now, the Air offers a full-size luxury class interior while maintaining an agile sports sedan footprint, which results in the largest frunk of any EV to date. The Lucid Air interior is super futuristic and elegant with a 34 inch curved glass cockpit 5K display, along with a retractable central pilot panel for a deeper control of the vehicle systems and functions. It also has a promising competitor to Tesla Autopilot called the Lucid Dream Drive Advanced Driver Assistance System with 32 sensors covering vision, radar and ultrasonics and LiDAR. This car will certainly be a sight to see, truly a car of the future, and I hope to be able to experience it soon for you guys. In fact, I'd love to be able to experience any of the cars on this list. So if you are in any way a part of these companies or you live near Louisville, Kentucky, and you want me to check it out, let me know, please reach out to me. These cars definitely have me all tingly for the EV market in 2021. I truly think this year will be an inflection point in the grand scheme of the masses moving toward EV adoption and away from internal combustion engine. Which one of these cars excites you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more tech videos in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.